Hello. Today I will be demonstrating MapSkip. MapSkip is an interactive mapping tool that allows users to set markers on a map. From there, you can add photos, video, or sounds to, an accompany, to accompany a written story. This is MapSkip's home screen interface. As you can see, it is not very complicated. The first thing the user will need to do is set up an account. This is located in the upper right corner. As you can see, I have already set up an account. For new users, you can fill out the form, and at the bottom, you will notice a checkbox for teachers. This option will allow you to add students to your map skip. Once your account is created, the screen should automatically change to the home page. The links at the top of the screen allow the user to navigate through the site. The links are as follows. The Places link is the home page for the website. The Stories link allows the user to view all map skip stories available. Pages can be navigated using the link down here. The Photos link allows users to view all photos that have been used in Map Skip Stories. Again, pages can be navigated using the link down below. This does take a little while to load sometimes. The sounds link allows the user to hear the sounds other MapSkip users have used. This also takes a while to load. Scroll over the small hands to see if somebody has added a sound. People's link shows the users that have created map skip stories. The My Passport link is where you would go if you need to add students to your map skip. It is also where all administrative map skip duties can be performed. And lastly, the blog. This is where you will find users blogging about map skip stories that they have created. This is also where people will throw comments in about possible problems that the site is encountering. Okay, now that we are familiar with the interface, let's try and start a map skip. Click on the Places tab. It should bring you to the home screen. To set up a marker, scroll into an area that you would like to use. For these purposes, I will be scrolling into M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. To make a marker, simply click on the screen. Add a title to the place. Once you have added the title, you can begin to tell your story using words, 
videos, pictures, and sounds. To add your story, click on the Tell Us a Story link. Here is where you will add your information. Once you have added your story, you can then begin to add your photos, sound, or videos. To add your photos, simply click on your photos link. Find a file from your computer and add a caption if you wish. Once you have decided on the file you wish to upload, click on the link Upload Photo. Click the Done button. Next, if you would like to add sound, go through the same process. It does only upload MP3 files, so make sure that your sound file is an MP3 format. I do not have a YouTube video to add to this story, but if you wish it would be the same exact process. Once you are finished, you can click Save Story. You have just created a map skip. As a teacher, I can see this being helpful in many ways. If there is a historical landmark and you wish students to create a project detailing the event in history, then MapSkip would be a good tool to use. If you go on field trips and would like to document the things you have seen at these field trips, MapSkip would be a good tool to use. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for listening.